you are a sports writer, but that you want that to be your major career. Yeah. And what do you want your legacy to be? That's a very big question. I mean, I sound it sounds like a cop out me saying this because this is what I hear so frequently, but it is just like I just want it to be a safer place when I leave. Like the fact that like I when I came into the age, I was like, well, I'm the only female sports reporter. I'm the only person under 20. And I'm... You were under 20 when you... I mean, sorry, I'm the person under 30. Oh, right. <laughs> like, imagine. <laughs> imagine. Um, I'm the only person under 30. Um, I'm the only female. Um, but it's like... But I come from like a middle class, white background, like mm. well-educated. Like the fact that people point to me and go, there's your diversity. Like that actually makes me really sad and it makes me really angry. Um, and I would like by the time that I'm like a veteran of the place that the diversity is actually diversity. Like I, I would just like to help make it safer for other people because even just like I speak to my like friends that are like women of color in the sports space and we have very open conversations with each other being like, you have it so much easier than me. Like mm -hmm. they tell me and they tell me why and they explain why. And it's like, there are days where like I just break down at work and I think I, I can't do this. Like I'm actually not tough enough for it. Like it is too hard. And if I'm experiencing that, then of course like women of color are going to have it so much harder. Like the, yeah. And so if I can try and break down even a little bit or like try and make it safer in some way for like the next person. That's great. Yeah. That, and, 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 I feel like every woman you talk to in AFL media says that, but it's true. It's mm -hmm. actually really interesting when you talk to people about what they want to have with their careers because, like, you talk to any men, like, male in the space, and it's like, well, I think that there should be all this new media stuff and, like, all blah, blah, blah. And you talk to a woman, it's like, oh, I just want there to be more women. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, did you have people when you started when you saw them, you were, well, they can do it or I, I, I like what they're doing or did you have people who you looked up to? Nope. No? No, I didn't. I just, like, I am just didn't. And, like, I don't want to put any disrespect on, I assume, the person that everyone assumes is my hero. Um, like, it's, I, I think that every woman in the space has done an amazing job, but it's not like I've had someone that I've been like, I want to be like that or I want to replicate that. Also because I don't even know where I sit because I love journalism so much and I love, like, the real, like, guts of it and I love the importance of it and the integrity of it. And then I come on this podcast and I say like, oh, we're going to fucking get them, aren't we? You know what I mean? Like, and yeah. it's like, where do I fit? Because yeah, like, yeah. I, I do want to like hold power to account and I want to do the kind of work that um, shines a light on areas that needs like lights shined on them. But then also like, okay, if I want to be a serious, serious journalist, but then I also want to like just have fun with it and make other people feel included in it by being a fun person. Well, hopefully you can do both if you want to, do you know what I mean? Like mm, as long uh, as yeah, you want to, so hopefully too. you can do both. Hopefully yeah. like coming on our podcast and having a laugh and, and making an inclusive space for everyone doesn't lessen your integrity as a journalist, right? Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, in this in, a sentence or two ago, you said there was not a lot of people who you could look up to in your space of yeah. the same gender as you. Yeah. Okay, I also just want to say that um, because I feel bad when I, that I just said like a that like I just said no when you asked me if I look up to it. Now that I'm in the space, I definitely do look up to people. And I'm Nat Edwards is my favorite person ever, and she's amazing. Nat and Edwards. she is someone who I think knocks it out of the park in whatever role she does. You should f hopefully feel that your presence is a huge step forward, and it is. Mm -hmm. And being able to, you know, it should probably have been this way twenty years ago, mm -hmm. but. Um, you, you are enough, I think, is, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say.